<laughs> Shall I waste my breath on a list of desserts, or do you just want the check? Uh, just the check. <laughs> and some whipped cream to go. <laughs> You dropped your wallet! Hey! Ugh. Sir? Uh, Dharma? Dharma! Stop, please! <laughs> Dharma? but the man was rude. Forget something? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. I'll just make an imprint of this on my forehead. I think he wants cash. I, I, I didn't bring any cash. That's him! That's the man! Calm down, sir. We got your wallet thanks to this lady right here. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I'd like to give you a reward. Here's forty dollars. Thank you. Here you go. Was there something wrong with the service? Not enough running, perhaps? You could use another ten. But we, we eat there a lot. Thank you. I'll be right back with your mints. making out at the restaurant, so I was pretty revved up. Dharma, she doesn't need to know. Well, why don't I just write this up as a citizen's arrest? Cool. Hey, can you put down that I gave chase and collared the perp? That's how I'll do it. Great. <laughs> hey, I have something to ask you. You and uh, Officer Gorgeous over there, you got something going on? What do you mean? I saw the way he looked at you when you slapped those cuffs on that guy. Dharma, these are very busy people. Just let them do their job. One moment, sir. How did he look at me? Like he was wishing that you'd put the cuffs on him. Really? Mm -hmm. We've been partners for two years. He's never even seen me out of this uniform. Oh, believe me, he has. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're all done here. Listen, uh, if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. We owe you one. Can you take a peek at your butt and see if Cupid's arrow is sticking in it? Oh, thanks very much, officers. We should do this again. Come on, Dharma. Oh, 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 wait. There is something you can do for me. Did you know she always wanted to do this? No, but that, that's not unusual. What the hell is she doing? Oh, that's her main face. And the whole time, I'm thinking that he dropped his wallet. Wow, what an exciting day you had. I know. She was a hero. Excuse me, but before we start pinning medals on her, did anybody stop to think about the real thief? The one who got away. <laughs> Do you know where he's going with this? I think so, but I don't want to ruin it for you. The real thief is a system that oppresses individuals and forces them to steal, and the police are the unwitting arm of this oppressive system. 
Do you people get what I'm saying? <laughs> totally, totally, yeah, totally. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> So, Abby, I understand you have a birthday coming up. Any, uh, any special plans? Oh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. Now, now, now what's going on? Larry and Dharma are planning my surprise birthday party. <laughs> well, shouldn't you be in there? No, if I rush right in there, Abby's going to get suspicious. Okay. <laughs> Dharma, would you, uh, show me how your sink works? <laughs> sure, Larry. I never really liked surprise parties myself. Yeah. Then you should have Larry throw you one. <laughs> Please let me bake the cake. Why? Everybody loves my cakes. Do you remember the cake you cooked for Abby's 40th birthday party? No. <laughs> Neither does anyone else. <laughs> Let me bake the cake. Karma? Yeah? Bill and Ellen are here for you. Oh, I'll be right there. Okay, so I'll bake the cake. You do the guest list. Right. Cool. Let's see. Eggs. <laughs> flour. <laughs> butter. Gotta call Dave. Hey, you guys! Hi. 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 Ooh, bulletproof vest. Very sexy. Hi. We brought you your fake mugshot. Oh, cool. Wow. Ooh, beautiful frame. Where did you get that? We went antiquing. We, we drove down to Carmel. Carmel? Did you stay the night? You have the right to remain silent. Oh, you did, didn't you? Dar Dharma, don't, don't tease people with guns. <laughs> all right, all right, let me handle this. Anything you found here was found without a warrant and is therefore inadmissible. Unless you do have a warrant, in which case, we're house-sitting. It's okay, Larry, these are my friends. What do you mean, your friends? They're cops. <laughs> yeah, and they're my friends. Larry, please don't make a big deal out of this. I'm not making a big deal out of it. If she wants to betray the values that I taught her, if she wants to spit in the face of everything I stand for, that's not a big deal. Mm, maybe we should go. Yeah. No, no, you know what? We should probably go. What's it going to be, Dharma? The people who raised you? Who put a roof over your head for 14 of the 18 years you live with us? <laughs> Or the enemies of everything they stand for. Larry, you're wrong about this one. Bill and Ellen are good people. Fine. That's it, then. Let's go, Abby. Very nice to meet you. Remember, peace officer begins with peace. <laughs> so you, uh, met Ellen's parents yet? <laughs> believe this. Two years I'm driving and then we start sleeping together. No one has to drive. It's cute. You're a couple now. <laughs> Donna, how are you with your dad? Not so good. We're not talking. Anything we can do to help? Well, do you think you could explain to him that you're not part of a conspiracy to suppress the masses on behalf of the multinational fascists who secretly rule the world? Oh, is that what we do? No wonder we're so tired at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, oh, I know those guys. Can we pull them over? What for? Just to screw with them. You got it. <laughs> no. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Hey, switch seats with me. <laughs> Why should I catch a ticket? Because if I get another one, I'm going to lose my license. Come on, switch with me. I don't even have a license. But then you got nothing to lose. <laughs> oh, man, are they switching places? Either that or the little one's trying to throw the big one out of the car. <laughs> Attention seat switchers. Get out of the car and slowly move to the front of the vehicle. Last time I let you drive. <laughs> This is great! How do you get any real work done? Put your hands on your head. Now put 
your right leg out. Now put it back in. Now put your left leg out. And shake it all about. He's, uh, he's still pretty upset, huh? Well, he's a Taurus, Greg, and his moon's in Capricorn. I don't need to tell you what that means. No, no. <laughs> You certainly don't. I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to him. You might want to wait until Mercury's out of retrograde. I'll take my chances. <laughs> hey. Hey. What you doing? Jigsaw puzzle. Is that Nixon? Yeah. <laughs> Getting on a helicopter after he resigned in disgrace. <laughs> I love this puzzle. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's, uh, here's, here's somebody's eye. Yeah, is it shifty? Uh, it looks kind of bloodshot. Oh, that's Pat's. <laughs> Listen, Larry, we, we need to talk about the situation between you and your daughter. I have no daughter. Come on, you don't mean that. Damn right I mean it. <laughs> Larry, why is this a problem? You, you had trouble with me because I worked for the government. In fact, I think you called me a mindless zombie of the overclass. It Rabbit pit bull of the federales. Postal <laughs> workers are mindless zombies of the overclass. <laughs> My point is, once you got to know me, you realized I wasn't the enemy. Why can't you do the same for Dharma's friends? Because they're the police, the steel toe, or the jackboot of the establishment. <laughs> Uh, given, but but uh, the, the times they are changing, right? Hey, listen to me, Greg. You weren't there. You don't know what it was like to protest against an unjust war and be beaten by sticks and bitten by police dogs and gassed and tagged and dragged off into jails because your opinions weren't acceptable. All that happened to you? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not going to change your mind here. What, what, what about Abby's surprise party? What about it? Well, how are you and Dharma going to work together if you're not talking to each other? I don't need to talk to Dharma. I can throw a party for my old lady all by myself. Okay. Well, I guess I better get going. Tried. Taurus. <laughs> Listen. Larry, maybe we should call off the party. Party. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just tell me you're not going to make a scene with Dharma. Hey, I won't make a scene. I promise you, if anybody ruins your surprise party, it won't be me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a menace to society. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take it from here, guys. I, I think she just needs a little tough love. Ooh, I promise. Good work today, guys. Take care. See you, buddy. Good cop, good cop. Yeah. Uh, listen, I... I was talking to your dad, and, and believe it or not, some of the stuff he said kind of made sense. I mean, it was all wrapped up in bumper stickers and t-shirt slogans, but, but the guy has been through some stuff. No, I know. I've heard it all my life. But he's wrong about Bill and Ellen, and that is all there is to it. But aren't you the one who's always saying there is no right and wrong, it's a duality, and dualities are an illusion? How does that apply? You tell me. I didn't even know what it means. <laughs> Taking me to play miniature golf, Greg. It really made it a special birthday. Oh, you're certainly welcome, Abby. It, it was fun for me as well. Surprise! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Larry, I'm gonna get you for this. You didn't see it coming, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Where's Dharma? Uh, we should talk about that. Um, uh, be, be right back. Um, she's, uh, she's being pretty stubborn. Um. So she's not coming? Surprise! Oh, jeez! Oh, and crackers! It scared the daylights out of me! 
Happy birthday, Abby! Happy birthday, Abby! What's going on? Uh, Norm and Larry are throwing separate parties. Surprise! <laughs> separate parties? Only one of which, for the record, was a surprise. Way to go, living room! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Can I have your attention? The kitchen party is now serving a delightful 1984 Bordeaux. And Greg, your parents are here. <laughs> Honey, isn't this a little silly? Look closer, Abby. It's insane. <laughs> no, it's perfectly reasonable. Everyone's welcome to go to Larry's party. They just have to get their hands stamped in order to come back to my party. <laughs> Don't you mean my party? I'll be right back. Hold on, Blondie. You're cool. <laughs> this punch is delicious. You're right. It does taste a little like punch. <laughs> Larry, hey guys. Hey. Hello. Maybe we should call a truce and have just one party. So there is another party. No. Yes. Uh, does that one suck too? <laughs> Come on, we're being childish. Let's have just one party for everybody. Fine. In the kitchen. Larry. We got punch. We got pretzels. We can make toast. But I've got birthday cake, Chinese food, and three kinds of pasta in the living room. Oh. Come on. No. And tell your people not to come crawling to me when they want something toasted. Is that the punch from Larry's party? Yes, why? No reason. <laughs> Get the camera ready. We're going to be rich. Hey, hey, hey what, a, what a surprise. Well, we were working, but we just wanted to drop by and give this to Dharma's mom. Dharma told us how much she likes antique quilts. Hey, look who's here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, uh, no problem. Listen, we might have a little bit of a situation here. Hey, what the hell are they doing here? Larry, let's not do this. No, I want an answer. I invited them to my party. You invited them to my house. And the only way cops come into my house is the regular way, with a warrant and a battering ram. <laughs> They're not real cops, Finkelstein. Come on, officers. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Drop this right now for Abby's sake. Fine. Do you want these people in your home? Well, Larry, they seem so nice. That's it, then. My whole family's turned against me. You got short memories, people. Well, you know what? Larry Finkelstein doesn't forget. I don't forget the cruelty and the injustice and the cruelty and... Larry? Oh, Dad? Are you all right? I can't breathe. Somebody call an ambulance. We'll take him in the squad car. Not the squad car. <laughs> Mr. Finkelstein, let us help you. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Passive resistance. Passive resistance. Uh, okay. Go with your mom and dad. We'll be right behind you. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> Here, take my dress. It has magical powers. <laughs> So sorry, Dad. I shouldn't have invited Bill and Ellen. No offense, guys. It's okay. I was just being a big jerk. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I've been so pig-headed. No offense. That's okay. I don't want you to just think of me as a man who stood stubbornly by his principles, but as a compassionate, loving man. A man who was open to change and who accepted people who were different than himself, even though they abused and trampled his rights. He will be missed. Larry, you're not dying. Larry Finkelstein was a family man, a good provider. None of your business, how? And now? No, oh, Larry. Dad, I say something? Please stop breathing. Oh, oh that sounds better. Oh. Oh. Is it okay?
okay for you to eat that? Yeah, as long as your mother doesn't find out. Hey, what's the matter? Is the boss watching? Load up the onions. Oh, jeez. Larry. You called me dad when you thought I was gonna die. I know. It's kind of nice. You know, if you don't overdo it. Don't worry. You'll always be my Larry. Bill and Ellen. Hey, Mr. Finkelstein, how you feeling? Much better, thank you. Turns out it was gas. Really? Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Come on, Larry, get in the car. What? Trust me, it'll be worth it. <laughs> Edward, are you speeding? I don't think so. Well... Strip searched? Strip searched? That's absurd. Edward, do something. Uh, here, here, here. Here's, here's a hundred dollars. Tuck it in your bra and flirt a little. 